Ooh. How about a slinky? Love these things. This is the original fidget spinner right here. I gotta tell you, I only have one hand to play with it, but you know if I had two, I'd be doing the, I'd be doing the slinky thing there. dog junkies because I follow them on Facebook and the uh, the manager manager Rebecca are you a manager or you, I think you're a manager anyway she goes live you know all throughout the week in certain times and and I always check out that live and see what's going on at dog junkies and today she said furniture furniture is half price and as you know Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas and I are opening a space at the Vintage Market, uh, which is, I don't know if you're going to see this video before we do that or not. You might. Anyways, um, so we're doing this market the, is it the 20, 21st and 22nd of August. It's the third weekend of every month, so it's not just this month. It's going to be the next month and the next month and the next month as well. The third weekend of every month. So if you're planning a trip to Vegas, come on the third weekend and come down and say hi. So I'm going in to see if they have any shelves or anything we can use at the market. But I have to be careful because my car is full of packages. I'm headed to the post office next. Uh, but I can't resist stopping by here and seeing what they have. They're also having a big half off sale on Saturday. So I'm going to try and get this video up before then, for those of you who are local, so you'll see that in case you didn't know that, and uh, be sure and stop by for their half price sale. So, without further ado, I'm getting into dog junkies and see what I can find. Okie dokie, they always have like racks of clothes out here you can shop too, so be sure you're checking those out if you come here. All right, let's grab our basket and go inside and see what we can find. All right, so let's see what's new and exciting on the shelves. I know she said she just restocked on Monday. Today's the first day they're open since Monday. I don't know what would these be for. What would you do with these? Hmm, I don't. Are they like little shelves? I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, we got insulators. Maybe $14. That's a good price. I do like the blue color. That's well, nice stuff, but <clears throat> I am being super picky today because I have so much stuff I'm processing right now getting ready for the market and I just don't have room in my car either. Look at this little enamel glass piece. It would have had a stopper like a little oil cruet kind of a thing. The spirit. Let's see. I'm trying to see who makes that. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. It is by, what does that say? Carved Wooden Eagle, National Gallery of Art. Oh, I guess that's the image that's on here. It's kind of cool. Patriotic stuff is kind of a thing right now, so I think I'm gonna pick that up. It's $4, yes. I just pulled this off the top shelf. This is a, a mid-century silver band. Kind of a, I don't know what you'd call this shape, but I like it and it's only $2. So we will pick that up. Let's see what we got here. 
Interesting wood stuff. It's pottery. We'll go around the other side and see that pottery. Oh, I see dolphins. Look at that big old plate. I don't see any marks on it. And it takes up a lot of space, so for that reason we're going to leave it. But it's really cool, and it's only 10 bucks. Okay. That is it, Homer Laughlin, Virginia Rose. It's just a single bowl, so we'll leave that. But Very pretty. Okay, somebody told me they wanted me to pick this up, and it is still here. So, I am going to pick it up. For eight dollars. Oh, I see a little painted egg with squirrels on it, and I am going to be doing an all animal themed live sale very soon. But you know what? It's so delicate, I'm afraid of shipping that with a bunch of other stuff. So, for that reason, I am going to leave him. Let's see what this is. Look at this little girl with her little kitty cat. Bessie Pease Gutman box. Made by, oh, this is that Maud Humphrey Bogart. It's still here. I can't believe this is still here. This is such a cool item. But it's, it's a little more than I can spend on it. But if you guys see something, remember, you can call the store directly. You can purchase it by phone and then I will come pick it up and get it shipped to you for the cost of shipping, of course. Um, but you are welcome to do that. That is my little thing that I do with this store to help them out and help them get more things sold. So you just have to call the store, pay for it over the phone, and then let me know so that I can invoice you for the shipping and then I will pick it up and get it shipped to you. All right, look at these cute little The Boys bar by Art LeMay. Not heard of it, but that's really cute. There it's marked on the bottom there. Birds of a Feather Sculpture Collection. Those guys are adorable. The base is a little, got a little ding, but that's easily fixed. The sculpture itself is in really good shape. Somebody must have donated like their hunting duck collection. There's a cute uh, winter, winter thur, winter thur, cute squirrel music box. I think I'll pick him up for four dollars for my critter sale. These really pretty Italian leaf plates are still here. I mean, I wish I could just buy it all. I wish I could, but I'm a little overwhelmed with stuff right now. So the things I'm buying, I know exactly where these things are going. They're either gonna go in my critter sale or they're going straight down to the booth. So I'm being super careful about what I purchase. Like, I'm not even sure what that is. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know? I don't know. This is an interesting picture. Is that, is that Times Square? I don't know because I have never been to Times Square. Jordan just got back from New York and got to visit Times Square. This is a really cool set. Very mid-century. It's got all the little berry bowls and the master bowl set is $30. Some very old magazines. Ooh, these are cool. I kind of like these. I'm looking for a date without having to take it out of the... Oh, here we go. 19... 1956. Oh, there it is. 1954, 1956, and 1955. I think I have to have those for $4 each. Oh my goodness, look at, look at, okay, let's move you. Look at this vintage ironing board. 
in its original bag. Like you see the little ironing boards all the time, but you never see the original, the original packaging. It's a Wilson Albrecht company. That is so cool. That is so cool. I love that. They're asking 30 on that. And I really hope they get it because that is just something you don't see every day. These appear to be Ray Dunn. They are $16. There's one that says Munch and there's one that says Chow Down. I think I'll look those up and see what those are going for. Also, this is a really nice kitchen essentials. Oh, $7.99 it. And see how reasonably they price. Four bucks. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I think the Ray Dunn craze is about it is at its end. These are only selling for about $15 to $20 on eBay. But still, their price of $16 is good because there's no shipping if you buy it here. On if you buy it on eBay, you're gonna pay a whole bunch of shipping too. So good price, just not something that I can do anything with. Red Bull. Oh, it's a little like a canister. All right. I love this. I live by this. And a little, little unknown thing is that I was always told that Walt Disney died on the day I was born. So there you go. I think I need this sign just for me. Right next to that was this really sweet classic poo little piece of art that says they walked a very long way together just following their memories. Oh, that's so sweet. And it's only $2. I'm going to grab that. All right, I made the music box start going. I love these old cans. I don't know when this one would be from. But that's really cute. And then there's the chroma. Chroma powder tempera. Oh, those are plastic. Ooh. How about a slinky? Love these things. This is the original fidget spinner right here. I gotta tell ya. I only have one hand to play with it, but you know if I had two, I'd be doing the I'd be doing the slinky thing there. Let's see what's on top. Can never disregard what's up on top. Oh, it's a really pretty hat box. And a neat picnic basket. Oh, look at that. It's full of stuff. All right. Ooh. These are great for displaying small pieces of art, and they're really expensive if you go to like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or anywhere to get them. So I'm gonna pick this one up for $8. All right, let's come over to the other side here and see what we got. This looks like it's a, some kind of a little garden flag thing. It's the Lord is my shepherd. Very nice. And what's that? That is the printed cooler bag. Nice and colorful, but not something that I need today. Let's see what's over. Oh, this is a really neat lamp. It's going to need to be re rewired, but this looks like it looks like tramp art. I love it. For four dollars, we're gonna grab that. This looks like a little pepper mill, little pepper grinder, little vintage guy. Some shot glasses. Oh, the bubble club fun bath. There we go. I remember we only used Avon bubble bath in a it's in the plastic bottles that were kind of like ribbed. Remember that very, very distinctly. This is a whole set of Peter Rabbit, Beatrix Potter, looks like a towel, a washcloth, and the little Peter Rabbit. $14 for this set. Let's 
super cute. Oh, here's the guy that I moved off of this to begin with. So he can come back and he can guard that. Oh, look at another little old lamp. Another little old lamp for $4. It just needs to be rewired. So we're gonna grab that one too. All right, any other goodies? I'm already, uh, like I've already filled up a cart, so it always happens because they have such great stuff here. But I'm getting drawn back to this one now too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on that one. It needs a lot of work. That one needs a little more work. I mean, their price is fantastic if you wanna put a little work into that. So I just, I know right now I don't have time if it's still here later, then maybe. But trying to be just a little discriminating. Okay, what is this? We have mittens and a hat. It looks like it's some kind of a little monster. How cute is that? 12 to 24 months. I wonder if I should get this for Carrie, who's, she's got a grandbaby coming. Mm, I don't know if she would do the monster thing though just don't know. Carrie, if you're watching this, you'll have to let me know if I made a boo-boo by passing those by. And then you know where they are. <laughs> they are down here at Dog Junkies. Shooting accessories. Spinning zombie targets. Alrighty then. That looks funny. Uh, let's look up here. I still got my big light bulb. Big Christmas light. Over in the pet section over here. Lots of bowls and cool stuff. Nothing we need today. I think I've gotten all my last dog beds and, and gates from here. Look at this, it's a like brand new cat tree. It's just, look at that, it's still got the tag. For $16. And let's come over here. See what they got tucked underneath. Let's have an interesting look to them. Looks like a, almost like a little decoupage thing that someone did. I'm not quite sure about that. And that, that looks that looks a little bit like Ozzy, doesn't it? <laughs> Just a wee bit. Some of the stuff I looked at, like on my last time I was here, so if I'm passing by something quickly and you didn't watch that video, go check out the last time I was at Dog Junkies. You can just search my channel for Dog Junkies and you'll find the videos that I've done here. That way, if you wanted a closer look at something that's still here from the last time I was here, you can see it. And I'm really, really trying to be picky. I'm, I'm not even touching as much stuff as I would normally touch. Okay, I, I ha I'm trying to figure out what that is for. Sometimes I'm just like, huh? Because I don't know. I just don't know. Somebody had asked me about these Coke bottles in the Diet Coke thingamajigger here. But anyway, it's still here. It's 20 bucks. Um, so if you're watching this, it's still here. Got envelopes, notes. We got some doggy stuff. Oh, this is an interesting little display thing. I'm wondering what I could do with that. Could I do something with that? What would I put in that? I just don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go over to this corner. I call this like the man corner. It's like, but you know what? You gotta look at everything. You just gotta look. And then they have like toiletries and bathroom stuff over here little baggies and stuff. I'm not looking real close at that stuff this time. Sometimes I come in and I like I have to look at every single thing, but today I 
I'm just in for a quick trip around to see what's new, see what I can't live without. I mean, they've got all the standard stuff that you would find in any thrift store. I think I just saw her wheel a whole new cart of stuff in. Oh boy. I might have to get over there and see what goodies are on there. Harvest. It's time for Halloween already. Here it comes. I, <laughs> I love, look at this. this. I didn't even know they made one for, for Halloween. I have a Christmas one. That is... We have a big one that's coming on the other cart. We have a big one. Oh, there's more coming in. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll have to look at that too. Okay. I got distracted by her bringing out the Halloween stuff. I'll come back over here to the shelves I was on. These are... I'm trying to figure out. This one is... That one feels ceramic. But these are... Oh, okay. Yeah, those are metal underneath there. And then that one's ceramic. Those are cute. Stay. Stay. All right. Let's see. I think so. I do think so. All right. I'll take a quick look through the glasses. See what jumps out at us. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There is an entire cart of Halloween coming in. All right. We'll go scope it out. We will. All righty. Pretty much seen most of this stuff. Keep an eye on if anything looks new to me. God, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. All right, here's all the Halloween stuff going up on the shelves. Yeehaw, oh, he looks, he looks a little creepy, that guy right there. Ooh. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be creepy though because it's Halloween. I guess that's kind of the point. Right. <laughs> I like the guardian angel hanging on the side over here. Oh, there's an eight foot tall yeah, Mickey Mouse, <laughs> vampire Mickey Mouse. Oh my goodness. I, I used to go all out with my Halloween decorations in the last couple of years. I just haven't. I love it. I had one of those big, full, life-size skeleton horses in my front yard, and everything revolved around that. <laughs> all right, let's go see what we haven't seen yet. I think I'll just walk through here and show you kind of the the lay of the land of the store because it's very quiet in here so I won't be running into any customers if I do this. They're just a, a little thrift store just off off of Decatur like you could drive right by it and miss it so you got to be looking for it. This is a beautiful set. It looks like Limoges but it's Noritake. Ah. Was it legendary by Noritake? $80 for the whole set. That's beautiful. And we've got a Christmas set up here. China Pearl. Noel. Oh, they still got that set. And I, I, There's something about that set. I just absolutely love this set. I don't know. Maybe I should figure out who makes it. It's really, really pretty. Really pretty. All right, I am gonna go peruse the jewelry. I lied, I'm first gonna look at all this glass and pottery on this shelf before I peruse the jewelry. That's a, a satin glass. This looks like an EAPG with a 
not sure what that pattern is. It's got a, like a grape pattern. I tend to stay away from the grape patterns. Some emerald green. I believe that's an anchor hawking pattern. And all right. Okay, now we'll look at the jewelry. Let's give a good look. I know I'm, I'm through the glass here, so I apologize for any glare. I have a lot of jewelry to deal with right now, so just looking for something that would be just like I can't leave it behind kind of stuff. And let's look in this case. There's some beautiful pins in here. Gorgeous pins. There's some giraffes and there's some ducks. And... Ooh, glare. There's some glare. Look at that little giraffe down there. Oh, look at that. So many nice things. They get some really nice jewelry here. This is in their front showcase here. Let's see. Lots of pins. Get the right angle without the glare. We got a whole bunch of tie tacks and cufflinks, rings, watches. Ooh, you got lots of watches. And bracelets. Oh, well, that's interesting. Holy moly, look at that. That is complex. <laughs> we'll, put it, we'll put it that way. Complex. <laughs> What's that? Oh, her the torso, her yeah. Look at this old Schwinn. Oh my goodness. I, I, it, this looks like the bike that, what was it, the Wicked Witch would have been riding along on, you know, I'm just getting that vision in my, in my mind where she stole Toto or something. I don't even know how that all worked. I have the story completely wrong. I know I do now, but... Look at that, like they got the little, whole little cart attached to the back. You got the basket on the front. That little sucker is ready to go. <laughs> Bell and everything. another fun trip to dog junkies and I never ever fail to find some good stuff there and you might think ah oh, Danny paid a little more for that than you normally would at another store and that is because I completely support the cause of this little thrift store and I know every penny I'm spending is going back into their mission which is to rescue dogs in need, mainly special needs dogs, you know, the ones that nobody wants because, well, they have special needs. So, um, 
love, love, love being able to support this store. So again, as I said, if you saw something in the video that I didn't buy and you totally want it, you can call Dog Junkies. I'm looking at the number. It's 702-778-2558 and pay for it by phone and then let me know so I can get down here and pick it up and get it shipped to you. Now make sure it's not something like gigantic because that's going to be some pretty bad shipping. Um, but I'm happy to do that to support their cause and make sure that they can sell things beyond just the local market too. Okay, with that, I am heading to a Goodwill, but you'll see that on another video. So be sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell notification. And with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.